What's up, Staunch Gang? Welcome back to the channel. I'm very glad to have everyone watching. We're getting some good responses to the stuff lately. Thank you so much. And as you know, I recently started a podcast, the world's first, and I'm assuming only Two Corys podcast. Um, and it's called Two Corys Forever, if you haven't heard. You can check out the little video version we have here on the channel or also on Spotify and we're working to get ourselves out there more and like I believe we're, we should be on Apple podcast soon as well as the Google podcast so we're getting out there guys and if you go and listen now you can find out how to get yourself a free sticker from the podcast so go check that out next and to keep the Cory ball rolling here on the channel there's always stuff that I like I try doing I try to keep up with all the drama and whatnot from the past at least and in doing that that, I mean it gets a, a bit much because like it's a lot of this stuff is just kind of lost in time videos pop up they disappear clips of them wind up on TikTok, but nowhere else it is a, a huge mess sometimes and with the clip we're about to watch it is a similar story I, I saw it a few years back you know and I remember hey I remember watching this on TV back in the day you know and it was really bad quality and then it just disappeared and clips of it you know um, were, were actually did pop up on TikTok and it was like the only place you can find any any footage of it of, of what we're about to watch and you know the, I believe like the aftermath of this video is also on YouTube so it's like the the meat of the whole thing was just gone for a while and it's a little touchy subject i guess because what we're about to watch is basically Corey feldman going on to the howard stern show and this is like a live kind of i guess like i don't know they were doing some sort of special or something to promote um howard stern's film private parts i'm assuming when it was coming out on cable or i don't know something was happening i couldn't find much info on this particular event but i'm gonna i'm still gonna give it a shot but um, during this, they had Feldman come on. This is in 1997, and they basically just ambushed him by having his father come out, Bob Feldman. Now, if you don't know, um, there's a tumultuous relationship between you know both of Corey's parents, and uh, whenever he was growing up and his teen star status and whatnot. But um, it, it was really bad between he and his his father. Like um, they touch on some of it here, from what I remember. Um, but you can read his book to, to hear more about that. Uh, I'll put a link down in the comments where you can listen to the book or get yourself a copy because I, I think everyone should check out his book, Choreography. Um, it's quite quite the read, even if you're not a big fan of the guy. So um, I went ahead and I watched about half of this footage because it popped up again on YouTube about a month ago. And it's much better quality, you know what I mean? I, I ran through it to make it, uh, spice it up a little bit, make it look a little better, but um, pretty cool that it popped up. I hope I don't get any claims or nothing for using this uh, so far with my Howard Stern versus Corey Feldman videos. I, I've been lucky. So everyone, please like, comment, subscribe and whatnot. Um, and just uh, let's get to it because this is an interesting one. And like I said, I only watched half, so we're going to get to see most of it together. And I haven't seen this since it aired on TV. I'm talking over 20 years ago. So let's check this out, guys. Um, Corey's <clears> been <throat> in tons of movies. Hey, Corey. Uh, Corey, don't shake everyone's hand. Just sit down. <laughs> this is not the Letterman show. It's not the Letterman show. <laughs> sit down. You don't have to acknowledge everybody. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> Want to congratulate my movie wife on her appearance on Letterman and congratulate yeah. you, Robin, on your appearance. The movie wife. You? Yeah, yeah. She was great in that movie. Even though Dave should have just talked about the movie exclusively. <laughs> I mean, by the way, Private my Parts is one of my movie. favorite comedies of all uh, time. Corey, I love that movie. Doing? Good. Hey, I heard it was pretty wild. You saw, you, you, did you know your dad was going to be here? <laughs> Yeah, no. Gary told me. Is that true? You didn't know he's gonna be. <laughs> they're acting. They're they're acting brand new as hell, man. They they're, they seriously try to pull up, put off that they had no idea. Yeah, we just we didn't know your dad was here, Corey. My, our bad, you know. Yeah. We, I, I'm not setting you up, man. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, right, please. You believe that I said you? You up? know what? For oh, a minute, oh. I swear on my life, I did not set that up. Taking I up this couch right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> lay on it. Lay on the couch. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, this was weird. Gary comes up to me. But, oh, there's your dad. Is that your dad? Oh, good looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> and if you, I mean, you can look, you don't need to pay too close attention, but you can really tell Corey is pissed, man. He, uh, he was straight, just bamboozled. Not cool, man. And uh, there's a few more things I want to talk about, about, you know, Feldman and this particular night in history, but we'll get to that a little bit later. But yeah, watch this. You can see how Feldman, he is pissed, <laughs> man. Sit, sit over there. Seat. Sit on that seat. Over there. <laughs> Yeah. Now, Gary, let me just is show Is that Corey, really your father? Is that really your father? Or not? Is that yeah. really your father? It is, really? 
Corey, of course, is a uh, movie star. Yeah. Been in tons and of films. And you know, he was a child star. Child star. We really don't want to go here. <laughs> we don't. Uh, we <laughs> really don't want to go. But we don't Gary. understand what's going Gary, on. Gary, I don't understand what's going There's on. There's a live Gary. audience right. and everything, man. This is just not a good Baba idea. Baba Booey. Really? Really right. Howard, idea. Here's, what? Wh- here's what happened. <laughs> yeah. Come here, Jack. You know Jack Gordon? Baba you know Booey. Oh, great. Of course we oh, Jack. Okay. Jack was so married to Latoya right. Jackson. Latoya Jackson's uh, <laughs> husband, so, whatever so thing. Yeah. So, yeah, this is interesting. We have Latoya Jackson's, like, I don't know, lover, manager, whatever. <laughs> and um, there's, I believe it's in three parts on YouTube. There's a pretty big dialogue, um, some fiery dialogue, dialogue between Latoya Jackson and Corey. And you can check out my thoughts about that where I watch along that uh, with that video. But you can only check that video out on my Patreon, guys. So join the Patreon. There's all kinds of fun stuff happening over there where I'm going to do a big upload dump here soon. And it's only five bucks a month. You get to help out the channel, keep all this madness going. So I think you're going to, if you like these kind of videos, you're really going to want to subscribe to that Patreon or join that Patreon, guys. So please, <laughs> link below. I'll see you over there. Let's get back to it. Right. Corey, the people from Billboard Live say Corey's here because he comes here from time to time, which I say, fine, you know, you know, we might get to him. So then Jack comes up to me com- like two minutes later and says, hey, by the way, you know, I'm here with Corey Feldman's dad. Really? Which is, and Why I don't know how that? that, I don't know how they ended up together. Jack, it, it, tell Corey I didn't set this up. I mean, I had no clue. I absolutely believe you. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, that, was Jack, that was a great uh, testimonial. Are you, Jack, are you going to get the Oscar? This fucking Jack, sleaze ball, man. Dating? Is oh, that what's going oh, on? Oh, I Ooh. I'm I don't know. Corey's dad. So, uh, you're, you're managing him? What does he do? So you're an act, sings, dances. Really? Oh. oh, I didn't know you were in show business, are you? Oh, yeah. All my life. Your name is Bob? Yeah, they, um, Bob Feldman claims that he was in that band Strawberry Alarm Clock. You know, the... Incense and peppermints, pe- 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 uh, that band. I, I think that's that band at least. <laughs> but uh, he claims that he was in that group. And my buddy out in Hollywood, um, he he books shows out there, and he books Strawberry Alarm Clock, and he brought it up to him, and they were like, "Nah, man, fuck that guy. He was never in the band." So who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But I've heard Corey himself say it. So Feldman, Damn right? Right. right. Hello. How you doing, Bob? Good. How are you? You're a pretty young-looking guy. I mean, you know. Hi. Yeah. Well, I mean, did you raise Corey? I raised Corey. Really? But you guys broke up. And I'm proud of him. You broke up because you took all of Corey's money, supposedly, or what? Supposedly. Well, all I can say is I can't can't say it's wrong. (laughs) I can't say it's right, and I can't say it's wrong, but I can say I love my son. Fucking Feldman is surrounded by (laughs) weasels right now, (laughs) man. That was beautiful. This is people's court. (laughs) Oh, my God. Corey, I'm trying to understand what happened between you and Dad. Is this thing on? Yeah. Uh, Howard? Howard? Yeah. I I actually remember some of the facts. Right. Go ahead. Um, The one fact that I remember that really sticks out in my mind (laughs) was that Corey's mom and Corey's dad were co-managing him, and they were each taking a percentage. Oh. In other words, a manager's supposed to take 15. Right. Corey they said they were each I wonder if this 15. is true. <laughs> oh, my. Well, is that Baba Booey saying it. I mean, it's got to be, right? All I can right? say is that I love my son. And there was something, uh, there was something, something about snakes, a Cadillac. Man. I remember Corey could bring up some sort of a car. Corey, what's that all about? Oh, man. What is that, a Cadillac? You know, the reason why I don't want to get into this why not? is because we, ha- you know, I've kind of let all things go in the past. Right. Well, if uh, you let it go, then you could talk about it. Right. It's almost <laughs> Passover, Corey. <right? laughs> What? Oh, They're trailing him, man. Gordon? Jack, you better stay out of this. <laughs> you and Latoy are having your own problems. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Corey's Jewish? Corey, what happened? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's you, Jewish. So, We've already been through all the heroin and lesbian stuff, so we might as well go to this. I wanted to talk to you about this. This is a separate issue, which I'm completely pissed about, but that's besides the point. Okay, good. Don't be pissed at me. I didn't set this up. Uh, You could think that all those people, man. I swear to God, life of my children, I had no idea this was happening. Here's a bone to pick with you about the heroin. The heroin thing, you got to stop with that. Why? Every time I'm on the show, seriously. And it's funny and it's cute, but I mean, come on already. It's been nine years for God's sake. Yeah, man, it's like, um, I think this may have been one of the, the last times that Corey was on doing anything with Stern, because this was not the first time that Stern basically lampooned him. And I've already covered that whole event, but that was, um, I guess it was like the Halloween party that Howard Stern was doing, and it was like their Club Howie thing, and they pulled a fast one on Feldman. Like, straight up, that one, they really got him dirty with that one, with the little people dancing on the stage and the grass skirts and shit. And, uh, I mean, I love that video, but people don't know, and they watch it, and they think that, you know, it's on the level. Howard Stern is always, always kind of a little snaky, you know, even in that LaToya, that LaToya Jackson dialogue I was talking about. And it, it's like, I don't know, I think it was around this point when he stopped fucking with him, really. I mean, honestly. 
And from and I think this may be uh, right here was like after or right after or during the uh, the like the premiere run of the film of Private Parts. I don't know if this was the actual premiere, but I think this was like the weekend of or something because um, I'll, I'll get to I'll get to the reason why I think that here in a minute. I'm not too sure on that, but it's like uh, yeah, I think Feldman kind of stopped fucking with them. If I'm not mistaken. There was another instance where um, Corey called into the show and Howard was just like, what What the fuck am I, what, 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 why do we want to talk to Corey Feldman for? And he was just giving him a real hard time. And um, again, there, he talk, um, it talks a little bit about it in, in his book, in Corey's book about how Howard treated him and shit like that. And, and in the documentary, his latest documentary, Corey Feldman, artist, the man behind the love available in his box set right now, he talks a bit more about that and that all the, that performance and everything. So there's a lot of info out there between these two. Interesting tale between Howard okay, Stern and so Corey Feldman. Right. Yeah, we're, we're on to a new topic. Mr. Feldman, what happened? When is the last time you actually spoke to your son? Is this a deposition? Yes. Okay. When is the last time you actually spoke to your son, Mr. Uh, Feldman? A couple minutes ago. Is that right? What, when's the you mean, so <laughs> for like nine years you haven't spoken no, to him? No, no. Corey and I have... Uh, we have a good relationship. You know it goes on. And this on. is your life. <laughs> <laughs> you do, oh, you do have a good relationship. Oh, we're, we're, I think. Well, let's put it this way: there's some miscommunication at times. <coughs> uh, Corey knows I love him. Yeah, Corey, do you know that? Well, he said it three times, so it must be true. <laughs> you ever say you love him back? Um, I did at a point in my life. However, I've uh, I've opened my eyes to a great many things in the last couple of years. Really. Yeah, Corey, uh, Corey has some great comebacks here, man. Are you guys ever come to blows? Do you, you have ever... dinner or no. anything? No, no, no we haven't. They all do, actually. Since my show got canceled, but right. um, you know, what show got canceled? Yeah, so that's a weird thing. I was before watching this, I was wondering what is Feldman pr uh, promoting here? This is 1997, and he just said that his show Dweebs, that show Dweebs that he was on, was just canceled. And in 1997, um. About all he had going on, I think, was like, that was the year that I think Busted was released, his his directorial debut. And then he was in um in that weird TV show, some weird, like, sci-fi show. Um, let's see, what else was it? I can't remember. But um, he doesn't seem to be actually promoting anything. He's just there because he liked private parts and he was wanting to uh, to just, I guess, go on and talk about the movie or something. But he finds out his dad's there. And um, uh, if you, you can look back, you can find clippings and whatnot of, of Corey in the press talking about like how great it is, like how great Private Parts was. You know? He well, had a TV show for a while. Oh, really? Such I'm interesting serious. history. Oh. I, I think I said it everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Time yeah. Time. Weird time in the 90s. So you're saying you, know? you had a reconciliation at the time of the TV show? Yeah, amazingly enough. Right. Um, so what, did you, what are you saying? He was, he was really there for me when... Uh, you're saying your dad wanted a part on the show? No, I'm not saying that. Oh, Born well, Bad, that's the other... Company. That's what it was, right. Born um, Bad. And when you walk into the office, you'll see... That was his other movie in 97. Films and basically... Uh, you know, you're you're asking for this. So you sitting up here, I'm going to be on it. I came up here as an actor, Corey. Right. <laughs> well, you, you better, Jack's you better start acting career. pretty quick. You Corey, better start acting. Corey, what are you trying to say? Seriously. Uh, seriously, you walk into this company. The whole thing is based on my name. And um, I've asked my dad in the past when I've had trouble. I've asked him for money. He's always said no. Um, he Oof. told me, you know, I could come stay with him if I right. if I needed. A All right, well, that's nice. Well, that's yeah. something. Yeah, that's yeah. something. Howard, as soon as as, um, soon as as soon as Corey said something about asking his dad for money, Jack starts hand motioning to Bob. No, 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 no. Don't give him any money. See, they've got oh, a little, little collaboration thing going, and I think it's pretty funny because you know you look at Jack and what toy? He's pissed, right? boy. And you look at my dad and me, and you know I think it speaks for itself. Right. So you are you are you upset that your your father took fifteen percent? Of your okay, money? If he took 15%, I would have been happy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any money left? He only took 10%. Clark. Okay, here's the deal. You don't know oh, that, yeah, Jack. Yeah, okay, Jack. All right. Yeah. How, how'd you pay for that diamond on your hand, Jack? <laughs> I pay that with my commissions from Latoya. Oh, Thank boy. you very much. This, oh, man, this is a bunch of snakes. Judge, uh, whatever the hell his name no, is. Corey, I don't understand something. In other words, you were, you. In a, you were in a lot of good movies as a yeah, kid. Yeah, you must have made a lot of money as a child yeah. actor. Okay, here's the deal. How much money do you figure you no made? No shit. Here's the deal. Bob, how I much know. money did Corey make, would you say, as a child uh, star? Well, it's hard to say because really Corey's, uh, uh -uh. The, the more money uh, actually happened when he was doing... No, wait, wait, wait. Let your dad explain. Concentration. Yeah, yeah, man, and uh, right here is they all kind of start roasting on Bob Feldman. I fucking love it, man. The bigger, the bigger movies, which yeah. was when, uh, unfortunately, our household kind of broke up and our family kind of broke up. Right. But uh, it's hard to say. Well, I, his great course, movie, his great movie, Stand by My Bank Account, was a great. <laughs> <movie>. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but Court, you got. And then there was lost money. <laughs> right. <laughs> the lost money. <laughs> <laughs> but Bob, you're saying that you had you you, ma you, you managed your son. Yeah. And uh, how much money would you say he made as a child show? Millions? I wouldn't say so. Really? No. What? Really? Millions? No. I no. Know. You know. Uh, um. What do you think you made, Corey? Well, I know what I made. What did I you make? Looked at the papers. What did you make? Um. By the time I was 14, I had grossed a million. Right. Um. Which, Oof. when I turned 50 and I got legally emancipated, and this was all brought up, you know, legally in court. I had forty thousand. You kind of see him easing up a little bit. He's like, "These guys are on my side now." <laughs> right. And I had to start all over on my own. And at that point, I had to go to court to be emancipated. And the only way my father, who loves me so much, would sign the papers to release me is if I paid him forty thousand dollars. Mm. So he took Ooh. the rest Which actually of left me completely. Damn. Yeah. Is that true, Bob? And I'm sorry. That's wrong. Really? No, actually, since since it's it's, it's getting more involved here. The fact is, is Corey and I really do need a time for us to get together. So we can lay out all <laughs> the paperwork because every, all the information I have is, is right. accurate. Right. I see. So in other words, you didn't ask for forty thousand no. dollars to emancipate your son. Okay, no. What, what, I, no, really. What I was that piece of paper I signed, and what was that check? The, I the gave? reason that I didn't want to see oh, shit. was because, uh, although he has a brilliant career, you never know what happens in the entertainment industry, and I was just concerned that he finished school. Right. <laughs> Thank you, yes. somebody, whoever you are. Someone in the crowd, liar. <laughs> and you had rent to pay. <laughs> okay, so when I was eight years old doing a series called The Bad News Bears, a lot of people think my first movie was Stand By Me, but, you right. know. Right, Bad um, News Bears. Bad News Bears, I was living in a $400,000 house, which was under my name. Right. Which today would be worth about $2 million because it was in the Tarzani Hills, and that's a nice area in Hollywood. Um, mm. that, that house now... Was, well, what happened was they took out a second and a third on it. They lost uh. the house. So you two guys will never get together as father and son again because because of the money situation. Well, see, or you feel you feel that thing. your dad here's took too thing. much. I'm a softie, okay? Right. Now, and it's not only it's not only the, the, you the money. A, right. It's not only the money. <laughs> it's the abuse. It's the physical, the mental. You all had that physical stuff. abuse in your uh, course, relationship. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding. Your dad? Yeah. Did you, Mr. Feldman, did you physically abuse? Yeah, he talks about that in the book a bit. Yeah. Huh? Not for sure. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> well, what do you? What do you? You know, I don't know why you would put yourself through this because I've never brought it up. You always say to me, you know, I don't want to bring up our stuff. I don't want to bring up. You know, can't you just not talk about it? it? Hurts my business. Can you not Oof. talk about this stuff on TV? Can you not talk about this stuff in the press? Tell You em. come up here on stage in front of you know a few hundred people and a million listeners. Are you crazy? How do we million. know you're right, Corey? Eight Eighteen million. million. Uh, sorry, How do we know the bomb's not right? What did you say, Jack? How do we know that you're right, Corey? And how do we know your dad's not do right? Do you think anybody's yeah. listening to you? <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> Jack, you're, you're, you're having a hard time in the credibility. Hey, Howard. <laughs> yeah. I want to know, where was, I'm just curious. Remember that incident that Corey had? Where was Corey's dad when that? that well, he was emancipated by that time. By that time, right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That he fell in with that manager. Right. All right, so, so Mr. Feldman, though, in all fairness, yes, you're sir. saying that, that uh, the, the, the idea of physical abuse is completely false. Well, you know... Uh, yeah, I, I have to say. Did, did you ever well, hit your son? Did I? What'd you say? Whoa. Well, you can't go. Hey, hey wait a second. You know, how do you know the guy isn't telling but you? But wait a minute. I want to know. Did anybody ever, ever see Let's Make a Deal? Yeah. Did you ever hit your son? I mean, he's your perfect son. contestant. Did I spank? Powered? No did shit. Or a governor son? or something. Did, wait, did you ever spank your son? Yes, I you did. did. All right. Okay. Well, well, I've spanked him too. Could, he could see that as a beer. Well, I think anybody certainly could take a look at it in any way you want. But the fact is, is that I. You ever smack him in the face? Smack him yeah. in the face? Yeah. No. How about how, did you how, spank about, him? how about with a belt buckle in the face? Oh. Never hit him. Give me a black eye. Did you ever hit your son with a belt buckle in the one, face? Dad. <laughs> Boy, this is like a movie, yeah. Yeah, this is good. This is terrific. How no, great this is, is real life. Look, let's just say no <laughs> yeah. movie. Let's put it this way. Uh, wait. Whoa. Suddenly, Robin and Hartfather are a couple of the years. You know what? I'm feeling closer to my dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you complained. At least he was loving. So you're saying <laughs> the that the Jackson family looks pretty good at this point, don't they? Yeah, how could you let your son be friends Jackson with Michael family Jackson? That was good. the funny thing. Yeah. That hey, I <laughs> sorry, man. I can't, you know. You still standing by him? No, we'll just leave it alone. How's All right, that? okay. How's that? Hey, but still you're saying that by him, of course. Is probably uh, making this stuff up. Well, let's put it this way, Howard. I came on. I thought this was going to be a love-in right. tonight. Right. Right. Love uh, it. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. I How did I, I know? I I'm here to promote a movie. I love the movie. <laughs> yeah, thank the you. Great. By the way, Corey loves the movie. Hey, yeah. Corey, thanks for saying some nice stuff, by the way, on E. I, so I, I, I caught that. No, I, I know you really enjoyed the movie, and I appreciate you saying I it. I really did. I mean, it yeah. was actually fabulous. Thank you. I mean, I was so yeah, great blown movie. away Funny movie. that you could act. 
Thanks. Because, you know, you sucked in some of those skits you did in the early days. Hey, F you. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can't. You suck. Those you are comedy it. sketches. Uh, yeah. I don't admit anything. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah, on. yeah. You okay. All right. But no, but you got you became a good actor. Thank you. I mean, you really did. The guy. I'm siding with Mr. Feldman. Bob Feldman. Com- yeah. <laughs> the, guy, the guy is compelling to watch in this movie. I'm serious. Thank you. You, you, you actually sit there the whole time and you believe that he's living those experiences as opposed to, you know, acting. No, thank you. I, I really do appreciate you saying that. True. And uh, although, let's get back to you and your dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that a nice sidetrack? <laughs> that's more beautiful. Yeah. So oh, you let me con- compliment you on your movie. I haven't seen it yet, but I've heard it's, it's fantastic and you're phenomenal in it. Well, yeah, thank and you. And he you would you like too, to Robert. manage you. Would you, would you consider <laughs> <laughs> Do well, me a favor, smack me in the head with a belt buckle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it it, it yeah, sounds yeah. pretty dramatic. <laughs> thank you. But it <laughs> didn't happen. L- hey, hey, Corey, can, Corey, can your dad borrow eight bucks so he can go see the movie? Corey, did your dad ever take you to the movies when you were young? We saw Empire Strikes Back together. You did see that. All the right. first time. Well, I'm sure you'll rush out to see that again. <laughs> Bring back a lot of good memories. <laughs> yeah. I saw that in the theater when it was released. So, Mr. Feldman, you're here to say you love your son and you want to get back together with him. Actually, I'm here because uh, Jack invited me down. Uh, I see. I've got an acting career. Because Jack always knows started. those strategical mover maneuvers, you know? Yeah. Well, he knows <laughs> that you have a career. And what is your career? Uh, acting. Acting. Yes, acting? Yes. When did that start? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was raised with you. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is great. He's a very good actor, Corey. No, you know what? This this is actually a pleasure, Howard, mm. because I've had to keep it all bottled up for so long. Right. That now that you know the can of worms is open, yeah. it's like a freeing experience. All right. So you claim, Corey, that your dad took too much money from you. He took all your money, and that um, that you were physically and mentally abused. And Mr. Feldman, you say none of that is true. Uh, yes, that's correct. Right. There. <laughs> How do these Corey. people know? Why is he alive? Love it's great, man. You really see Corey kind of start off just angry. He was obviously very pissed when it started. And he's kind of easing up. You know, he's even like kind of relaxed out in that little couch. And he's taking his opportunity. He's like, well, maybe it's not a bad thing that we're airing this shit up. We have a huge audience. At this point, uh, he's really just kind of settled in to like fuck my dad. You know? people, thank you. It's very cool to see that transition there. See, this is why we're you celebrities. You think you would think Howard and, and <laughs> Corey were actually yeah. friends well, sometimes, right? Well, thank on that, Howard. Because I want to, I want to thank Corey Feldman for stopping by today and having this family reunion. This is great. <laughs> I'll thank Where's you your mom? mom? Where's your mom? Can we, is mom here? Yeah. <laughs> Can we get her? You're, are, so, you at, are you at odds with your mom as well? Yeah. Yeah. I don't speak to either of my parents. Right. Actually. Well, this was fun. Um, but uh, <laughs> but I got to tell you that uh, truthfully, the last time I spoke to my dad was on, when I was on my series. Right. He and called he was, you. No, well, he was down on the set all the time. Oh. Well, how did that happen? I'm no. surprised you didn't have him thrown off the well. set. Well, because like, okay, I was trying to go into this a minute ago. Yeah. But I am I'm the kind of person who is very, you know, I'm very sensitive and I'm right. very. Like, Again, that's the show Dweeb. Yes, you give a lot of love to half the Hollywood actresses. Right. Oh. Lots of starlets know yeah. Yeah. how lovely they are. Well, that's not true. I've never <laughs> right. slept with an actress that I wasn't married to. Okay. <laughs> right, go ahead. So, yeah. And the point you're is, a very I'm, loving I'm somebody, guy and forgiving. I'm like, a, I'm like somebody who wants like a family, right. wants that kind so of stuff. So you try to reconciliation. What went goal, wrong? Yeah. What went wrong at the, uh, at the time of your TV series that you couldn't reconcile with your father? It got canceled. It got canceled? And then he disappeared? He disappeared. Oh. I haven't seen him since. No, shit. Really? Is that true, Dad? Eh. Oh, when's the last time I saw you? Well, let's see, Corey. <clears throat> I gave a couple of phone calls to you. Let's see. It would have been uh, probably a few weeks after. The, well, we got together, remember? Well, you invited us over. I got canceled. You, you, right. No, you invited I might have gone right on to another series. You don't want to, you know, miss that chance. Right. <laughs> I'm yeah. having a good time. Very comfortable, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to have children. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you have them? <laughs> no, I, I'm here because I do love Corey. Okay, hot There's Robin. There's a misunderstanding here. Right. There is a misunderstanding here. Right. What's a misunderstanding? Why don't you explain it to the world? Let's, uh, this is you're your doing moment. such a good no, job. No, no, no. This is your moment. Go for it, man. Show. His fucking dad, man. That dude sucks. He, and he, it's cool to see him kind of realize he's in the fucking hot seat now. That dude's squirming in his seat like the goddamn snake he is. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how the relationship is nowadays. I'm not, I don't mean to like try to you know, drag this shit out to the light. I'm just looking back at the, uh, more of the Howard Stern, Corey Feldman drama that, I mean, it's long dead drama, but as I stated, this is stuff that really no one touches on. There's a few other channels that have been kind of coming out of the woodwork and, and touching on this stuff, but this video in particular, like, I remember watching this whole thing when I was a kid. This is back in the day, man, when, like, Talk Soup and, you know, uh, they had, like, Brad X on there, and they, they had, like, the 
those weird like model shows and my favorite of the bunch on the entire of the entire e network was always the howard stern stuff and back in those days you know you uh, we, we didn't have cell phones and whatnot so this it was a good way to get some like adult entertainment on on TV, to, and uh, that if it wasn't for cable, having cable back then, I wouldn't I would never have been a Howard Stern fan if I'm being totally honest. But yeah, they 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 had Corey on a lot back in those days, and this is in fact after all of the, you know, um, all of the bordello of blood stuff. Like the, I covered that whole sh- all that whole um, barrel of monkeys too. Uh, that whole shit fest, if you will. But um, that whole thing between him and Dennis Miller, uh, it all pretty much kind of uh, got the most exposure on Howard Stern. And, you know, um, if you haven't seen those videos yet that I, that I did about that, go ahead and go check that out. But I always say, like, I always felt like Feldman in those early days was very inspired by Dennis Miller. You can see it in those early performances. It's very strange. Around this time, actually. Oh, show everybody how I'm a liar. Well... All I can tell you is this, that if you want to get together and take a look. Yeah. <laughs> show <laughs> me the money. <laughs> if you want to get together. Well, that's my job. Show me the money. <laughs> <laughs> show me the bills. That's all I want to see. I, feel, I feel very comfortable. <laughs> you love this. <laughs> <laughs> Robin, it's like Just some like kind home. of, it's like a 12-step like step thing. Yes. <laughs> By the way, all celebrities who come on the show from now on have to bring their dads. Their parents, yeah. yes. <laughs> you have to have a parent. It's a yeah. much better show. And you better have, a, better have an attorney. That would have been great. Right. <laughs> all right, so Mr. Feldman, is there anything you'd like to say? Corey would love an explanation of all of this. Is there anything you'd like to say in your own defense? In all these years, why haven't you straightened this out with him? If right. there was a question about money and really, all of this it, stuff? Really, it's a tough thing because Corey, believe it or not, is very headstrong. Right. And, and, uh, but you said you have papers to prove you whatever say. it is you say. Why wouldn't you just show them to him? Well, there I, I've tried. The dog ate him. <laughs> no, I've, I've got him. Really? You do? I do. Do you have any um, other children? Yes, I I've got uh, three others. Did they move to Bangkok? or <laughs> are, they, uh, are you getting along with them, though? No, it's, uh, it's a very tough situation, and it goes way back. Uh, yeah, it goes, uh, it goes way... There's more to this. He doesn't than pay child support. Eye. He doesn't ever call them on their birthdays. They're They've all never heard from him. They Jesus. What? Uh, no, he didn't have the chance. Are you talking to me or to <laughs> God? Someone in the crowd just said, "Did you beat them too?" Jesus Christ! Um, you know, not that Corey's family is is any has anything to do with you know any of this shit, but um, I do know um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Corey's is pretty tight with most of his the rest of his family these days. I, I can't say about his his parents, but. As far as, you know, with his sister and whatnot. His sister was actually an actress as well. I think um, she was cast as uh, one of the Mickey Mouse Club members, like, at some point. I have to look back into that, but I believe that that's what happened there. Corey, they were too young. <laughs> Corey beat the other no, kid. I haven't, I haven't beaten any of my <laughs> I took kids. care of his end. <laughs> yeah. I'm, no, actually, Howard, s- someday I, I would love to see this get resolved. You would. And, and I really today? didn't expect this coming up here today. I hear you. I, I thought that I was coming up Well, you should talk to your manager. As an actor. Yeah, yeah, well, Jack, <laughs> Jack, Jack booked it. He knows what he's getting <laughs> Jack into. said it was going to be a family Okay, but you reunion. still haven't given well, an explanation. We're still waiting for an explanation. I asked you to, to explain to everybody what happened to all the money. Tell everybody. Okay, it's very, very simple. Ooh. Jack, am I... Uh, it's yeah. called entertainment. Yeah, it's go called ahead. That's Entertainment. That's right. right. Ah, well, very simply. Now I get it. Let, him, let your dad talk. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, please. Yeah. Mm. Uh, all I can say truly <laughs> is that Corey is, is a great actor. He made uh, a decent amount of money when he was a kid. Yes. I've kept all the records of that money. Yes. Uh, and uh, the fact is, is that when uh, his mother and I got divorced, yes. when he, Corey started doing his movies, all that money was coming in, and I wasn't around to see any of the checks because we lived in a different place. I see. What? What different? Pl- what are you talking about? What movie was your first movie, Corey? My first movie was Fox and the Hound when I was six. Uh, you're, you're Hell yeah. In a voiceover. What was your first starring role? Uh, time well, time after time. Your first starring role. Oh boy. Stand by me. No. Uh, Gremlins. 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 Okay, where was I in Gremlins? It doesn't matter. I was on a series. I was on two series. Wait a minute. That. Wait what, what a minute. Do you know how wait, much wait, money wait, I made every week? Yes, you sure, do. I've you got. Spend it. No, hey, I've got <laughs> some. <laughs> money. So, Howard, let me well, say. Let, okay. so, since since oh, I get shit. a chance to answer a little yeah. bit here, okay. Yeah. I've always had my own career. I'm a rock and roll musician. I've right. done extremely well. Everyone laughs. <laughs>, 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 <laughs> they may yeah. remember my group, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what group was that? The I saw group. Actually, I did play with the Strawberry Alarm Clock for a while. You did. Right there. Corey, your dad was with the Strawberry Alarm Clock. I was very impressed. 
Right. <laughs> and I played with Chuck Berry and, and right. uh, band opened up with. Uh, By the way, with I played Van with Chuck Halen. Berry too. So. We'll see. I don't know. It sounds like bullshit to me. Don't pick on him. And weren't you in the band uh, Van Feldman? <laughs> Van Feldman. <laughs> Van Feldman. <laughs> well, Corey and I actually performed on stage at Disneyland together. Is that right? Yes. I'm sure Corey remembers that. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. But, uh, um, in um, in Corey's documentary, um, the, the, his latest one, art, uh, Corey Feldman, artist, the man behind the love, the one that I got to edit for him. Well, um, in that documentary, Corey talks a bit about playing at Disneyland. And if I do recall, he, I remember him saying that his dad was there and whatnot. And, you know, he probably did play with them there. But he, uh, he, Corey also said back in those days that a lot of times it was, you know, just pantomime, like, you know, um, you, they go up there and just kind of fake it or whatever. So I don't think anyone was actually playing with anybody, but they're performing still, you know. "Quote unquote." Get out and perform your ass off. <laughs> <laughs> perform well, your ass off. The Palace off. show. We did a, a show at the Palace here in L.A., which was pretty memorable because everybody in the he band talks about that in the documentary his too. Band. He put yeah. it together for right. me. Right. I didn't know what I was doing. Was when yes. I was first starting in music. I was like 15. Right. And he was up there in his Saturday Night Fever suit, you know, this big kind of white lapel jacket, <laughs> the gold chains, you know. Sitting up there I think the band that he's night. talking about was one of Corey's earlier bands. Was called the Long Necks, I think. And it was like he so it was like someone else's kind of band. I wonder if that's who he's talking about right. here. Kind of amusing. Well, anyway, so you two are not going to do that. But anyway, your point is that when Corey's money started to roll, and you were already divorced and out of the relationship, so and if you any money managing him anymore? Uh, no, I wasn't. Right. And as a matter of fact, I, I did make a very good living, and I uh, was involved in real estate. Did you pay child yeah. support? Oh, I always pay child support. I've been paying child support for the last 27 years. I've got, all, I've got all the receipts. So, <laughs> without getting in, into this too far, there's right. two sides of the Why story. Why would I lie? I mean, wh- well, maybe you're, maybe you're, maybe you're, maybe you're, maybe your Corey, mother you know? was keeping you from knowing uh, these my things. My mother right. is crazy in her own way, but that's besides the point. That has nothing to do with him. Right. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I think, mature enough. Not to that you would lie, but maybe the I perception I think I'm mature right. enough to see the difference. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, well, listen, I, I think you're pretty mature. I wasn't mature. there, so. Well, thanks, Alan. But uh, I can't, I certainly don't know who to believe <laughs> in all this. But look who's telling you you're you mature. We're trying to keep an open mind. Are you serious? Yes. You're seriously saying that Yeah, of course. How do we know your dad took the money? We don't know that. I mean, I can't make that value judgment. I got to. You know, because you had all that money to go crazy with. Right. What do you mean? Oh no, no, that was another million that I spent oh. on myself. Right. <laughs> 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 I blew the, I I blew the second those. million. I take full credit. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, what but the first million, no, I mean, you know, usually when a kid works their entire life, it would be nice for them to come in. A nest egg. Yeah, something. Right. right. Anything. Yeah. It just seems and then odd. to take the last forty thousand dollars, and it's like if it would have ended. And what you're saying okay, is, is that your dad, even if he left, he should have like taken an interest in where your money was going. And, and you, of course, right, so you, he should have been investing it. Do you know that Ricky Schroeder's parents yeah. bought him eight Taco Bells when he was on Silver Spoon? Really. That guy is a multi-millionaire for life Mr. Feldman, because did you, uh, his money look into, was invested properly. Did you look if into buying Taco Bell? If my money was invested, I would be a multi-multi-millionaire. I would never have to work again if I didn't want to. That's well, a fact. You would have blown in on the drugs anyway. So. No, I couldn't have blown <laughs> in <that laughs> on I mean, I, Did you ever look into a Taco, I, fe- I wasn't a taco, <laughs> taco Feldman? Why blame your father taco for your downfall? Feldman. Tell me. <laughs> Oh my my God. God. Why blame Jack, your father for your downfall? You're sweating. <laughs> <laughs> you're <a> sweating. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. Why blame? Okay, because when you're a child and you're not, you're sweating. Fucking roasted. Taught how to invest your money. When you're six, you don't really know what to do. Yeah, with your money. you know, it's yeah. like you can't That's really why go. you have parents, Jack. They're supposed to take care of it you. Makes sense. Yeah. Ricky Schroeder just got lucky with Taco Bell. Nobody knew for sure that. Was hey, by bad. the way, <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, wait a second, though. Rodney, <laughs> this is a man with high morals. Oh, wait huh? a second, Rodney well, Allen Rippy. Excuse Bell. me, Rodney Allen Rippy owns Wyoming now. <laughs> Because his parents invested his money. So. You're right, Howard. Right. All right, listen, i got to move along. I want to thank uh, oh, Bob Feldman. Great. Great. Now you're going to send me back out and do it. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. I think we're getting an audience, Feldman. Jack. <laughs> hey, you're really developing some fan base. <laughs> this is the base. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. Jack. I don't want anybody to think that I'm trying to play a victim here in any way, shape, right. or form. Right, you I'm didn't not. ask for this. No. I, I know. did not ask for yeah, this. Right. And I had to get out what I had to get out. Yeah, because Corey, still Corey one father. we love we you on say. this show. You don't have to explain yourself any more than you Thank already you. have. Thank you, sir. Uh, LaToya, by the way, is working at Roy Rogers, Jack. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> last I heard, no, I I the last I You heard. know, I spoke to LaToya Howard. How's she doing? Well, she told me some very interesting things, which oh. I think I may be too scared for my life to reveal. <laughs> I see. <laughs> no, true. I'm truthful. Oh, boy. What did she tell you? Go ahead and tell her what she told you. Oh, do you really want me to? Absolutely. Because you're on the air. Are you going to make me a promise? That's an interesting. Um, that's a very interesting um, little video, or series of videos, as I said, because it's in a few parts. But that's a very interesting. I guess we'll call it conversation between the two, him and Latoya, man. Because 
<clears throat> she has some shit. That she has some fucking dirt that she throws. You promise that you're not going to kill me? Some shitty Corey, shit. I love you. I would never harm you. Oh, good. good. I mean, not like I'm afraid of a personal conflict, but, you know, whoever you have working for you. I'm sorry? Whoever you may have working for you. I couldn't hear that. Yes, you could. <laughs> all of a sudden, Jack went deaf. Well, hey, yeah. well, I have your father working for me. Oh, well, I'm not scared of him. He did all he could do. All right. Listen, um, listen, listen, listen. Jack. Yes. No, I guess maybe uh, Corey read those articles. You know, remember the ones, same ones we read? Yeah, you know, yeah. about you yeah. being but you, but you already explained it. You affiliated didn't, You never killed anyone, way. right? Well, anyone. I'm not right. talking from articles. I'm talking mm. from what I, you know, oh, I see. the conversation I had. Jack, you anyway, wouldn't, Jackie wouldn't hurt a fly, <laughs> right? I would not Dude's hurt connected. Okay, in part, yeah. Latoya's comments to me, basically just that it's very hard because you know the whole thing is kind of up in the air and I don't right. want to go into and Latoya is involved in a divorce uh, proceeding right, yeah. right. but right. yeah okay you gotta and weigh lots that of out right? Right. Okay, you gotta right. weigh that. I always right. thought Latoya was right. nuts man so what are you trying you know, to say though what did I mean, she say okay what she basically hey <laughs> All right. what did she say she said that basically it was a very abusive relationship that a lot of the things that she that she did and said were because of Jack forcing her to do so. She told me that the day that we spoke on the phone, the reason why she said the things she said to me on the air mm. uh, was oh, because shit. he was threatening to beat her after the show, and he told her that, you know... We really? were in Israel yeah. during that time. Huh? We were in Israel during that time. Right. Jack well, would never beat anyone in Israel. <laughs> <laughs> it's against the law. It's against the law. It's, it's a holy land. So, Jack, that you deny all of that, Absolutely. Of I'm true. <laughs> No, I, what can I tell you? Well, oh, no, I mean, these are only allegations. Hey, he hangs out with my father. I believe him. <laughs> I got to tell you this, Corey. You get one mother, you get one father. You should really appreciate what you That's have. That's why you took Latoya oh, yeah. away from her family. Ah! Yes! Mm. yes. Come on, got Jack. him. Thank Come you, on, Robin. Jack. Fucker. Don't Robin. use that. Got him, Robin. That's the roast of the night. Uh, after a little use, yeah. Hey, this is good theater, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> no <laughs> shit. The audience, everyone's like, hey, this is fun. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> probably fun. A live docudrama. drama. <laughs> Makes you feel better about your own life, don't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. What listen, we're here for, we're the world circus. Uh, Bob Feldman, is any chance that you and Jack and Corey and OJ should have a pay-per-view special together and uh, get together? Uh, any chance of that in the future? We're thinking about having a uh, line that's going to be the Feldman family secrets. I we, see. Uh -huh. a, uh, a phone line. <laughs> a phone one eight hundred call and find out the real. Well, we know where it. I got oh, my yeah, comic yeah, timing from. All right. well, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Bob Feldman, father of Corey Feldman, Corey Feldman, and Jack Gordon. Thank you so much, Howard uh, Spinnerball. It's been a pleasure working all this out. Amazing. An amazing morning. Here working all this out and work shit out. Corey, I won't soon forget. Uh, Corey, uh, if you want, you can be let out a different door. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want. I apprereate that. Yeah. Uh, uh, e cameras. As a matter of uh, fact, could we like uh, remove him off the stage first? So oh, we uh, really okay. All right, Bob, you you leave first. Hey, Make Bob, Corey comfortable. You take care. Listen, uh, uh, thank you very much for having me on the show, Corey. I love you, and I hope we can uh, have another get together. Together like this very soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in front of all these yeah, people. Right. In front yes. of everybody. You're all invited to dinner. Everybody for dinner with Bob Feldman <laughs> and Corey tonight. And we can follow this side. <laughs> and I think we should probably have security walk him out, too. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wait, he's going to attack you? <laughs> no. I mean, uh, you know, for his own sake. Hey, this is like a public <laughs> hanging. That's what I'm talking I about. Just, you know how I keep laughing about it. <laughs> like Bob keeps looking hanging. over to Jack because this is obviously Jack's idea. I don't know what Jack told him was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> They're like giving baseball signs to each other. Well, Corey, things have worked out. You have a uh, very successful life now, and uh, that's all there is to it. you got to get over it. That's the beautiful thing. You that's don't need him anymore. That's Thank all. you. Uh, Thank you. you. Well, yeah, I appreciate it. Mm. And uh, you got enough money now. Buy a new father. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, listen, we're at Billboard Live. We're here with Corey Feldman. I want to thank Billboard Corey for Live. coming by. Thank you, Howard. You've been and a big supporter again, of the film. Once again, you guys, congratulations. You know, I've been doing this show for about five years now. I know. And, uh, you know, it, I'm just in awe. And, you know, i got to say the one problem here is I don't think you've got enough promotion behind it. Because, <laughs> uh, well, listen, you know, you know something, <laughs> Corey? Corey, get Corey I swear to you, if I, if I thought I'd made a bad movie here, I, you wouldn't even be able to find me. Right. Uh, no, I'd you're be right. hiding. You're right, but uh, you know what? It's a great movie. And I, and I really want to get the word I'm out. I'm going to see it again. I know you are. I, I, I'm going to go you. pay money to see it when it comes out. I'm thinking week. of going tonight, actually, and I've really? seen it 25 times. I'm ready to go. Well, let's go. I'll go with you. Yeah. Everybody go Look, with this us. This is the weekend yeah. before. <laughs> And as Melrose yes, says, 14 peek. hours and 25 minutes left till uh, actual tonight when they start showing the uh, film. <laughs> now, what's wrong with this man? There's nothing wrong with that sign. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, i got some phone calls waiting. Some say. guests waiting. Guests are all backed up. we got tons right. of great guests. Oh, it says 14 hours, 25 minutes till premiere. Okay. So it was less than a day till the premiere. 
But maybe it was um, a, a private screening that all that went down where he met Manson. And that could have been the night before or something, maybe earlier this day. I don't know. Interesting stuff, though. I, I'm, I'm going to try to put that timeline together. And uh, I do, I'll do. i get back to you all somehow. <laughs> now, what's wrong with this man? Nothing wrong with that, son. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break. We'll back. I got some phone callers waiting. We have some guests waiting. Guests are all backed up. we got tons right. of great guests. All right, well, you couldn't stop Corey and his dad, could you? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> all right, we'll be back right after these words. What were you expecting, and did it meet your expectations? Well, it, it certainly met expectations, but you know what it is, Corey's uh, unfortunate. I, I do love my son, and there's a lot of misunderstandings there, and I didn't think this was going Shit. to be a forum through which we were going to discuss all of this, because uh, really these are things that, that Corey <laughs> yeah, needs to take a look at. You can tell Bob's pride, pissed at his manager there, or whoever the but, fuck that uh, guy is I, I love him, and I'll always love him, and <coughs> that's what I'd say. Am I surprised about what happened? Howard is a, is a genius of being able to take these things and, and uh, put them out on the <laughs> Hell yeah, he used to be. Uh, I'm just happy I had a chance to participate. <laughs> well, Jack, you can be the first one to tell Bob that everything's public when you're in the hot seat. There is no question whatsoever. Did you, uh, did you give him <laughs> any indication that, asshole. you know, he could be blindsided like this? No, I think he knew that. I think he, he was more terrified than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have a feeling, I hope, that someday... We can resolve this, and maybe Howard could be the guy that could help us do it. You know, never, maybe we can sit down and take a look at all the facts and the figures, and he could be a hero. Well, how could Howard do that? Why don't you use this opportunity to kind of make the pitch to? Uh... All right, Howard, if you're listening, if you watch each channel, I would love it for you to be the mediator between Corey and I, so we could really successfully resolve our relationship. And uh, I do love my son, and this could be really the icebreaker, the opportunity for him to see things real clearly, and that would make me really happy and make all this worthwhile. This fucking guy. And what do you think, uh, you know, what good can come of this, and then what bad do you think might have come of this? Well, I don't think anything too bad can come of it, other than the fact that I think a lot of people are going to hear things that they think will probably be true, but that's, you know, human nature to judge people uh, based on what they hear. It's important to know seeing is believing, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'd like to see a great resolution come out of this, and I don't think anything bad is going to come out of it. I, I have a feeling something really good could come out of it. And maybe Howard can be the captain. No one gives a fuck about you, man. I think you're definitely going to see yourself on the show again. Oh, that would be nice, I think. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think you ever popped up How are you going to brace yourself for next time? Well, next time, I guess I should come with all of my paperwork. And uh, No, actually, my, my point is this, that, that I'm here. It was a great chance to see my son, who I haven't been able to see for quite a while. And uh, it's sad that we our relationship is somewhat estranged. But you know what? We're father and son for a lifetime. And uh, I know it's going to work itself out, so it's just a matter of a little bit of time. I wonder. I wonder well, if they patch things up. Who knows? I mean, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. I, I don't know. All right, Jack. As a veteran of the show, how do you rate Bob's uh, fledgling effort? I think he got 100 percent try. All right, guys. Thanks. All right, Corey. You're a veteran of the show. Your dad. You know, this was his fledgling outing, and uh, he, yeah, he told me he again. knew what he, he was in he, for. He, but he was. I tend to unhappy do. How do you think he did? <laughs> How did he do? I mean, he just kept digging a bigger grave for himself. You know, I mean, I was really doing my best to lay back on him and not give him a hard time, and you know, and he just kept just digging and digging, and I think he made some major mistakes by being here tonight. You know, I mean, yeah. who in their right mind is going to believe that this man is innocent of anything? You know, all he's done is, no is ruin my life or attempt to ruin my life, and I've had to fight my entire life. You know, the, the thing about it is. I never had the choice, and I should have mentioned this on Howard, but I never had the choice to be a star. You know, I just kind of yep. woke up one day as an adult, and everybody in the world knew who I was. I didn't have a choice of that. You know what I mean? That's what I always say. Like, people give him such a rough time. They'll say, well, Feldman's a fraud, and Feldman this, and uh, he, he's, uh, they'll, they'll call him sleazy, call him money hungry, and people throw in shade. And it's like, why? I don't get it. You know, the, the dude never had a shot at living a normal life and and to live that kind of life especially when you're that young and to have people expect you to recall every little fucking detail i mean my life is very unmiraculous and i don't remember shit from when i was younger <laughs> and so i mean you, how can you even try to blame the dude we can't even you, you have to try to try to understand that you do not and cannot understand I just want to say, I don't think I set you up. I just, that thing was, he came, it wasn't a setup thing. I don't think well, you Feldman rips into this I guy. I just think that, you know, it was just Steve like, Brillo. I had to tell him that you were here and your dad was here and it was kind of like, uh, well, I mean, of course like, Howard's going to eat. This is what he does for a living. I, I, I just don't want you to you think know, once he knew, once everybody knew, but you guys knew before I did. That's yeah. All. 
exactly. <laughs> but I, I couldn't say anything. But you know, I no hard feelings. But, but you knew that this was going to happen, did you? Not before I got here this morning. <laughs> well, how about when I got here today? When you got here this morning, I, I didn't know that you had a problem with your dad. So I said, "That's why I, said, I just said your dad." And you went, "Oh," and I went. So oh, it was so uh, so we're finding out the truth here. The truth of the matter was it was set up. But, it was but not up. by us. Wait a minute, not by us. By who then? Jack Gordon showed up with your dad. Okay, but but Howard knew about it ahead no, of time. Howard had no idea. He had to know. About I it. swear <laughs> on my mother's life, he did not know about it. I don't, that, know. I don't know. <laughs> that, 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 that's what I want to tell you. Like when I got here, Bob, uh, Jack Gordon said, "This is uh, Bob Feldman, Corey's dad," and I didn't know that you guys had any animosity towards each other. That's why I said to you so innocently, I was like, oh, well, well your dad's here. And okay, you, you maybe went, oh. you didn't realize it, but the point of the story is, obviously, somebody knew what was going on. Jack Gordon, I knew, enough been let to, in on. Jack Gordon knew enough to bring your dad here. Okay, and then you guys knew enough that my dad was going to be here and that I was going to be here. You guys no, knew no, I was no. coming. I was, you know. Well, I, they I clearly was knew. Guest, eh. you? Yes. I don't know why this guy even stopped to talk to me. It was set up beforehand that you and your dad were going to come here and have this. I'm telling you the truth. It was not scheduled today, you're saying? Blocked in the damn stairs. Jack Gordon do that. and my dad came here this morning. Jack Gordon brought your father unannounced. Right, but then you guys could have said, oh, okay, listen, Corey, your dad and Jack Gordon showed up. Let's, you know, you should know that they're going to be trying to get on the show with you. Well, then that, but that's the whole surprise. <laughs> then you're ruined. Oh, oh, well, nah. well, so I guess we found ourselves a liar. No one's lying. No, no shit. One, everybody lied. Howard Stern swore to God on his children's lives. <laughs> I'm telling you, it wasn't like we called Jack Gordon up and said, no shit. get Bob Feldman and we'll get Corey here and we'll have this explosive thing. That didn't happen. He showed up with Bob Feldman here. Right. And once he was here, you guys set it up and I was here and you could have warned me, you could have told me, but you no I told shit. you he was surprised. here. I told you he was well, here. Well, right. But so you didn't then, say, then, then, I I'm said, don't let them know. I said, don't oh. let them know because I don't want to do the whole thing. And you said what? I said... Oh, don't worry. I didn't say anything. Don't worry about it. Said, don't worry about it. Exactly. Don't worry about it. Yeah. it was <laughs> he wants to it was fight him. Okay. Isn't it great? Oh, it was great. Uh, this guy's I scary. I hope you all enjoyed my life. Thank <laughs> you. Are you going to stop when that happens? Seriously, I mean, you're kind of joking about it, but it seems like you're kind of checked. Well, you know, I really was hoping not to. Listen, man, don't feel hard. You know, I you know, look like you look like you're really I, shattered. But listen, I'm not taking it's not. It's, it's, not, it's not a personal thing. Don't it take it. Looks like you're really no, shattered. It's, it's just the circumstance because you know the, the fact of the matter is tomorrow I have to go back to my life, and my life is not a radio show or a TV show. You know, it's reality, and the reality. And like you can tell, Corey's pissed. There was another instance where he got bamboozled. Um, I believe this was for the Bikini Bandits, like the Bikini Bandits movie or some shit like that. And um, they went on. He went on there, and they just basically kind of lampooned him. Um, I'm pretty sure it was for that. And he didn't see really understand what was going on. And he's there's a pretty some pretty funny footage of him just like pissed off. With these like models sitting on his lap, he's talking about he's gonna sue the production company and shit. And um, they had, you know, there's a like a, there's a, some assorted footage from that whole. I think it was like a DVD back in the day, and they basically did a skit where they're selling Corey Feldman's used underwear or something like that. And uh, you know, they 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 pulled a fast one on him and pissed him off. I'm pretty sure it was the Bikini Bandits or something like that. And he acts very similar to here that kind of passive aggressive kind of fuck you kind of old hollywood kind of little too hard shoulder shruggy you know and uh so you can tell he's at the very least very annoying it you know? sucks you know you, i you have came to out really deal with the fact that you know everybody now is going to look at me differently everybody's going to know you know the things that my dad did i have to i have to deal with you know this might be like, and going why did you do that to me why did you you know and the jewish guilt and the whole thing and it, well, just damn yeah, this might be, this actually might be, like, one of the, the last times that he was on the show. I don't know. I was surprised that neither you or your dad just got up and walked away. I mean, rather than face all the I don't know why. Well, I'll tell you why. Howard. Because my father um, feels some kind of uh, thing inside that he must prove himself. You know, he's got this, this, this thing going on in his head that, you know, he must prove himself to me. And uh, and and to to the world, and you know how when people are guilty, they feel like if they can say something to make it better, you know, if they can prove to somebody that they're not wrong and they're not a liar and they didn't do this and they didn't do that, then you know that they're wrong. I mean, you know, that's why the whole yep. crowd reacted the way they did. I mean, the guy looks like a talk show host. You know, yep. he's trying to sell everybody. No so shit. Me, honestly, you did not know Snick in the grass. Oh no, no, no way in hell, no. 
I would not have been here. Do you think Jack Gordon set this up? Jack Gordon definitely set this up. You know, I mean, I, for what reason, I don't know. I guess he's managing my father, who is now apparently an actor of some sort. That's what he told us. <laughs> That's what he <laughs> told us. Jack, what are you doing here? Who is Bob besides being Corey's father? He said, I'm managing uh, Bob's career. He's an actor now. You know, this is amazing to me because I'm hearing about this stuff through you people. You know, my own father, now I find out as an actor who Jack Gordon is managing. I mean, to me, I, okay, truthfully, I think it's a bunch of BS. I think that truthfully, uh, the reason he was here is so that he could try and get some kind of reaction. He was hoping for some kind of great camaraderie, like we would get up on that stage and father and son reunited by Howard Stern and it would be great press. And it was a, it was a media scandal, you know. He was going for a publicity stunt and I didn't buy into it. He was hoping that I would crack under <laughs> yep. the pressure Straight up. I would be very nice and I would make up with him and, you know, and that didn't happen. Are you mad at Howard for no, this? No, I mean, this, like is Howard's, really no, this is Howard's job, you know? I mean, I, you can't... Yeah, you can't, can't be mad at him for that, I guess. For, it's, it's a radio, it's entertainment, this is what we do. Unfortunately, um, our lives are a media circus, which is good and bad at times. When the press is nice to me, it's very nice, but when they're bad, it really hurts. So, hopefully, all I can say is that people from the yeah. press, hopefully, when you hear about this or see about this... That you're going to understand that I do have a life, and um, I want to be treated as an equal human being, not as somebody who's, you know, a spectacle and to be laughed at. Because it's not funny. It, it's very emotional and it's very hurtful to me. And you know, now I have to deal with it. Yeah. That being said, I know. Like, um, what are we doing here? We're kind of laughing at it, treating it as a spectacle. You know what I'm saying? I mean, granted, it this is so long ago, so I don't really see an issue with it now. And I've always been, an, I always, you know, I'm like the guy online that, that is outspoken for, um, you know, Corey and uh, the guys. I appreciate everything, all the art that he's given us through the years. But more so, like I said, I, I, um, I do my best to try to understand where a lot of these child actors came from and like the ones that survived it all and whatnot. I, I'm just so fascinated, fascinated by it. So the fact that the guy is the guy is a, an actual human being and they're living these lives that they didn't ask for um not only is it fascinating to me and i don't mean it in like a you know in like a, in a, any sort of way where it's like they're clowns or something i'm fascinated by by people who who live in fantasy like live in this like fantasy world unknowingly like and they don't understand or uh, vice versa like how how, uh, Michael Jackson, for instance, how he never had a childhood and whatnot, and that's how what he wanted later in life. How uh, that's something I'll, we take we take it for granted growing up without that, you know, or, or with it, and not knowing what it's like without these basic things. And that's very much along the lines where Corey, uh, where Corey's coming from, as far as the way he was brought up, and so it's um it is an interesting story. It's an interesting piece of the puzzle here, you know, seeing firsthand just a little bit between him and his, his family and stuff like that. And I had to look into it more because I honestly don't know if this was the last time that Corey had anything to do with Howard. I think, like I said, he called in one time after this or something like that. Aside from the Latoya Jackson stuff, um, there is a few, a, a few other videos. There's like a handful of these Howard Stern kind of conflicts featuring Corey Feldman. Um, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and cover all of them, of course. Um, there's a few a few good ones I can think of offhand right now. But as of now, you can go check out... I, I, I go over the, the complete saga of Corey versus LaToya on Howard Stern. And it, it's a kind of a longer video, you know, but it is on the Patreon. Patreon's only $5, guys. And if you join the Patreon, all you got to do is send me your address and you get one of these awesome staunch gang pins. Now, right now, the only way to get one of these bad boys is by becoming an official staunch gang member by jumping over to the Patreon, guys. So that's how you that's how you do that. You can get one of these these pins here, and I'll throw in some of the stickers from the podcast, the Two Corys Forever podcast. Links to everything down below. If you want to be an official OG and become a staunch gang, fully fledged member. All you got to do is is come over and join the Patreon. It's only $5 a month. You, you, you support the channel directly, and you get one of these awesome pins. These things are panty droppers, guys. Links to everything below.
but uh, let me know what you guys think about this whole saga here i'm gonna um hopefully spice up everything and uh, get more of these videos going out because i think it's an interesting thing that as i said the, the old howard stern in general is just insane and i um, if you guys like these kind of videos maybe i can cover some other kind of different howard stern stuff shout out to my boy too lazy to try he does these great howard stern videos like the, the greatest outburst and stuff like that on there a really cool little series i get so excited when he puts those out so i'll go ahead and link his channel below if you guys haven't heard if you guys aren't wise he's one of my favorite channels on youtube so um just please check out everything uh, links below uh, and shout out to Corey, man like we're here for you we're here. the staunch gang's here for you my man um no disrespect by showing these old videos and whatnot it's just a little something we're kind of turning over these rocks and like i said this video disappeared for so long very strange staunch gang leave me a like leave me a comment subscribe hit that notification bell i love you guys and i will see you soon join that patreon everybody